Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough day 16, I believe, I think. I think. Well, anyway, it's Golf Story and it's a new day, so... <laughs> So, a uh, quick way to check to see if you've got all of the badges is thinking that courses have nine holes. There are eight courses. Eight times nine equals 72. So, there we go. In any case, we have three other challenges to do, and they all involve this place. Yup, it's time for golf. We're done with golf, I guess. But as for golf, oh no, we've got unfinished business. And it could be the hardest business we have ever had in the game, for all we know. So hard that I have prepared for this with the most brutal training you can possibly imagine. Then I realized that sort of training would not help me whatsoever, and I just gotta play this until I get it. So here we are! You're welcome to play golf anytime you like. I am most certainly ready for that. Okay? Okay. So, I don't, I don't know if that, like, remembered if I played this or not because of that whole buggy thing. But in any case, I'm doing them in order, so let's play some golf. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I've still got to read the manual, don't I? Yeah, I didn't forget about that, and I completely forgot. <laughs> it's been so long since I read through this that, yeah, and so anyway, it's going to be like it's new to me all over again. The year is 19xx, just like Mega Man, only better. The world suffers from a state of perpetual boredom. Collective depression washes over society as their search for enlightenment yields few results. However, in the far, far East, news of the long, dormant sport of the Old Ones begins to resurface. They speak of a beautiful game that provides not just excitement, but nobility to those who participate in it. Armed with naught but a hastily forged set of ball bashers, the new generation looks to the past for an answer to a single burning question. Eh, what's to do? I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong direction. Features of golf! Rapid advances in computer technology, woo, have allowed for advanced simulations such as this to be made possible. In order to fully enjoy your simulation experience, please take note of the following technolog technology employed in this simulation. High definition audio engine, heck yeah! High definition audio drivers mean voice can be transmitted through circuits and with stunning clarity. Unfortunately, the actor was unable to make it to the studio and had to shout his lines across the street, causing a slight drop in clarity. <laughs> okay, I remember that. <laughs> he was also underwater. <laughs> <laughs> eight high octane notes. Nary limits and an annoying bug means that golf ends after only eight holes. Dang. Or this hasn't been mar marketed as a design choice and should be regarded as such. Well, well, you put it in the book, so, um, um, uh, yes. Let's adhere to traditions. The game of golf is almost as old as time itself and is rumored by some to be the first sport. Golf traditions were defined years ago and followed to this very day. Let us not question the traditions, but merely follow them. Club distances! Yeah, I found out about this a little bit earlier, so... Club up, never down. Taking additional club is the best way to impress your friends. A 50% shot with a lower lofted club will always produce better results than a full strike with something shorter. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, if I, found, I found other ways to kinda get results-ish. <laughs> Think your way around the course. I've taught course management through this whole walkthrough, but can I put it into results? Playing straight for the flag is a fool's errand that will almost always end in disaster. Consider other options, like purposefully hitting bunkers, using them as a safety net, and you will net safe pars and bogeys with no unnecessary excitement. <laughs> Beware of the strange degenerates. This genuine savages make their way onto the golf course from time to time. Pay them no mind. We have the nudist crab, lazy crocodile, and the flightless bird, which I don't think we've encountered somehow. 
along the way. Maybe I have to hit into something that I didn't hit into before? I don't know. Let's study interface. Okay, you started around the golf. I haven't yet. Watch, well, I kind of did. But now let's look at the screen. You'll have to get your bearings. The hole you're on, number of shots allowed, the length of the hole, shot number of the current hole, overall score. It's all pointing to the spots with the arrows and whatnot. Longest drive thus far. Distance to hole from current lie where the ball is residing, index direction and speed. Yeah, it's all pretty self-explanatory as it's pretty much like what we've been playing. And is that, is that guy there playing disc golf? There's no such thing as disc golf in golf. And makes sense. After studying the interface, it's time to take your swing. First, look to the text on the side of the swing bar to see which club you have equipped. Press up or down to select different clubs. Take a swing! Press the swing button once to start and press it at the end. Then back at the start again and it'll do a swing! Who would have guessed? Off center shots will cause the ball to veer off to the left and right. Alright, let's respect that golf etiquette. Fastest way to lose your course membership and the acceptance of your friends is by disrespecting the rules of golf. Let's remember to think of others as we make our way through what many consider to be the greatest video game in the world. Rules increase fun exponentially. <laughs> Ball bunkers. Golf bunkers command a lot of respect. Unlike the grainy messes in lesser simulations, golf bunkers reduce shot distance by 50%. That is good to know, no matter the club. So I guess you could use a driver and it'll be cut head in half. A weaver t-shirt into a furry bunker has a tripped up many go a golfer. Fairways. Fairways and golf are more of a guide than a rule. <laughs> Lack of robust programming language means shots landing in the rough are not punished. Apologizing to others in your group is customary when shooting from the rough with no penalty. So, y you don't really have to go for the fairway. That's interesting. And er greens, your removal bug in the simulation has allowed all clubs to be played on the green. Dang, that sandwich kept getting me. However, this does not mean chipping on the green is encouraged. In fact, it is considered more respectful to take two or even three pots before disgracing the majestic greens of golf with an iron. Or, golf forbid, even a wood. No. No. When is a slice not a slice? In the game of golf, a slice is not a death sentence. In fact, it can even be necessary at times. Ram limitation. <laughs> have a lot of limitations. Limit your shot options to just 16 directions. Meaning it's not always possible to aim exactly where you want to. Just like original gol golf on the NES. <laughs> when this happens, a little curvature may be necessary to find target. Or in some cases, to avoid it. Good golfers use off-center shots to their advantage, and will often curse their luck when they perform a perfect shot. See you later! Yeah, he's playing disc golf over there, but that, unless we're gonna unlock disc golf if we finally shoot under power or something. No, from the depths, we worked hard to bring you golf, and hope that you find it enjoyable and difficult to the point of frustration. <laughs> We want you to feel you useless as a human being and damage your counsel. Have a good day. <laughs> Artistic depiction of a man who does not represent golf. I see. And I bet the notes are, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to have this page open with ye all pop, yeah, you know, distances and whatnot. Let's get this game started. Yeah! It's time. I am ready for a round of golf. Let's do it. Alright, so I presume I won't have that much difficulty since I've already technically played this game three times, just with different courses. So what I'm gonna just do here is kinda play maximum course management to my absolute best and also bring up my yardages whenever I need to. Like, see the rest, 132 yards. So that means I probably want to have that 7-iron. Got it? Good. Okay, so the wind is that direction too, and I don't probably don't want to hit it to the... Oh, I, know I was going to say, I don't want to hit it to the absolute max, but eh, I guess it worked out. So my goal, even though I don't know if it's going to unlock every anything, is to get under par somehow. Yes, a bird! I mean, like, under power by the absolute end of the round. Because, well, maybe, just maybe, it'll unlock something. Like I said, maybe disc golf, secretly, or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to take the super risky right route this time, since I know I don't really even have to. <laughs> it's not, not going to make the green in, uh, uh, 
I mean, it's, no matter what, it's going to take me two shots to get there anyway. And if I go in the trees, that'll be out of bounds. Anyway, I'm 262 on the rest. Maybe I should have taken the shortcut because it looks like I've got to hit the driver once again and a little bit of a slice. Eee! And that is how you can lose strokes very quickly in this game. Oh, no, not the naked crab. Avert your eyes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try it down a little bit lower and then instead curve it to the right. I mean, cur well, hit it on the right side, the curve at left, excuse me. Okay, so yeah, it's probably gonna take me a few rounds to actually get this, like, down to some sort of science. And, like, even that. <laughs> well, he did say they wanted to frustrate me until I break the console, and they may very well be doing that. We'll see. <laughs> Par 3, 284. I can probably just aim straight into that little gap over there and curve it a little left. Aww. Aww, I say. And sandwich. Remember, half the distance. And what was my distance for the sandwich? 66 yards. So that's actually a pretty full shot. Almost full shot. <laughs> okay, and... Hopefully I'll make it far. Yeah, okay. So I'm two over par. There are three holes, and there's eight holes. So that's that's okay, I guess, for a second attempt at this, I suppose, so far. And a little curvature to the left, too, by the way. Ooh, oh, oh, no, 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 okay. I was going to say, don't you dare go in the trees of doom. That would that could be the end of me. So there's really no punishment if, if you're in the rough whatsoever. Let's try that. It sure looks like it. <laughs> sure looked just fine to me. Uh, I'm gonna try it. Aww. I don't know my putter distance yet. That could be uh, could be an important factor. But okay, we're getting back on track to being under par. Ish. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say straight out, but I think I'm gonna end up in the out of bounds if I go straight out. So I'm gonna hit there and curve it to the right by hitting yeah, like oh geez, that was way too much. <laughs> uh, well, it's still a par 5, so... Uh, and a little curve to the right, just like get onto the patch of land happily. And 128, that's a pitching wedge, right? Oh no, it's an 8-iron, okay. So... 8-iron, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at the wind. Like, will I make it over that bunker with the wind? I think I will. Mm, okay, we're good. <laughs> a little bit off to the right, and go in! Yes, bird! <laughs> Alright, it looks like we are mastering the game of golf. One shot at a time. Uh, I wouldn't count on it to, to hold that long, though. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's... I don't know about this. The etiquette tells me that I should not use the sandwich, but common sense tells me I should chip over the edge of the green because I have to aim like over that way. I don't know though. That might make me go way, way too far. Hmm. 66. I'm 46 away. Actually, maybe I should aim to the right then if I'm going to sandwich it up because of the wind direction. Okay. Okay. I don't, know, I don't know if that was much better than putting, but maybe it was. Yes! Okay. Even par. Two holes to go. Can we do this? I have no faith in this. <laughs> nah, I think I'm going to do the same thing I did before, which is aim directly for it. And then just... Yeah, just hit out of this bunker thusly. But I need something that's a double 137. And <laughs> this is a driver. Okay. <laughs> and okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that was too far. Oh, the wind! I forgot to look at the wind. Well, my own fault. My own fault. Okay, so the sandwich cut in half with the wind in my face. Beautiful, beautiful. Par. Okay. Now, if I get a birdie on the last hole, I mean a bird on the last hole. It will mean great things for 100% completion, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> now, before, I went straight across, just hit over the trees in a probably too risky shot for my own good, just because it kind of looks more promising that way. Pitching wedge, right? 
Uh, no, I keep saying pitching wedge, but that's mm. not. That's like the club distances are pretty. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot less than I would hit IRL uh, with modern. Cl oh, I guess it, since it's an older game, they would have higher lofts. Hmm, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, here we go. Mm, okay, okay, this looks good. I don't know why I did excite bike there. <laughs> what, did I get any that? Oh, I oh I thought oh what? Oh, I was holding the B button and I switched clubs by pressing right. I, I didn't even know I had that. I was gonna I was gonna like run around by yeah by doing that, but the thing if you're standing still and you're pressing right on the oh no you don't. I'm finding out all sorts of stuff here, yeah, you just switch your clubs by pressing right on the D-pad. What if I press left? So it's the irons, I s Well, that's a pretty handy way to, uh, swap through things, then. <laughs> Well-worn, uh, my lofted wedges, and is up the... Ah, yes, we want the skimming, okay! What about the putter? Yeah, a down is a putter, yep. How did I never... No, uh, like, how did I never hit that before in my attempts at... I don't know. I don't know. But all I know is I shot two under par. A new world record. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when I do more golf and more manual reading, baby. I know, it's very exciting.